Okay, so we're going to talk about yield. Calculate the yield as follows. And we're going to use this formula right here, which shows you Y equals mass divided by, in parentheses, the density times 27. Okay, to calculate the yield. Okay, so for those who may not know what yield is, let's go to this page right here. This is always a question on those ACI exams. Yield is the volume of concrete produced per batch in cubic yards or meters cubed. Okay. So let's go and work out a problem right quick that you might see. If you're taking ACI field concrete testing grade one, you might see this on one of your exams. So let's fill it in a little bit. Let's go Y equals the mass. The mass of the what? The load. So the load mass, let's give it a number of 4,500, I mean 40,500 pounds. Then the density of the concrete when we tested the unit weight was 150 pounds per cubic foot. Now we tested the unit weight in another video and we got this number and that was using a unit weight measure with a volume of 0.25 cubic feet. So I have to look at the other video to get that number. See how we got that number. Okay. So multiply time 27 why is 20 because it's 27 cubic feet per cubic yard all right so let's break this down multiplying 150 times 27 will give you 4050 pounds and that's like pounds per yard right there and then dividing it by the 40,000 pound load 40,500 pound load will give you what? So this is how you do it. Bring up my calculator on the screen. 40,500 pounds divided by 4,050 pounds give you how many total cubic yards in this batch? 10 cubic yards. So the batch yields, remember the Y is for yield. We saw that in the ASTM. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned the ASTM, but this is for uh, ASTM C138. That uh, backslash C138M. See it right there? And we're calculating the yield. Okay. So that's very important here. <clears throat> okay, so let's say we uh, move on to calculating the what they call the relative yield, right? So we go back and look at that. Relative yield, relative starts with a Y. And we'll look at the relative yield. It says here, relative yield is the ratio of the actual volume of concrete obtained to the volume as designed for the batch. And it gives you a note to see C note 10 calculated as follows. R with a small y for yield relative yield equals what you yield compared to what the yield is for the design. The small d is for design. Okay, so the batch design, let's just go and say, let's go back to this page here. Let's, uh, uh can I start a new page? Eh, I'm going to start a new page. Let's just erase all of this. It's going to take but a few seconds to get all of this off of here. Just a few clicks of the mouse. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's even take that while we make it smaller. Okay, so relative yield. 
we saw the formula on that uh in that astm c138 slash c138m okay relative yield equals what you actually got compared to what the design was the design the little small d remember had the little small d on there so what the design so let's say for instance for example oh let's say for example we got the total weight of that load and um the pounds let's go the pounds per cubic yard pounds per cubic yard that you got was four thousand fifty divided by the design yield let's say the design yield was just four thousand okay so you get your calculator out you go four thousand fifty divided by four thousand and you have a yield of 1.012. 1.012. Now, remember note 10. Let's go back. We gotta read note 10. Note 10 says here a value of relative yield greater than 1.0 indicates an excess of concrete being produced whereas a value less than 1.0 indicates the batch to be short so let's go back and do one that's shorter let's just say i wish i could erase this uh, i can just do this you know let's say the design for this batch is 4050 but what you actually received through your calculations was 4000 okay so you see how we did that this is your yield now this is what you actually got you ran the unit weight you put the unit what the um unit weight in let's say it was uh Let's say we can do this number here. Let's I'll just show you the, what the unit weight would be for 4,000 pounds. So you divide it by 27, right? So you, it was 148.14. So this would be that's how you would get the 4,000 pounds. Because 148.15 times 27 would give you the 4,000 pounds. You can just leave that five off okay so that's the yield now this is the design now okay so we're gonna take let's see here 4,000 divided by that's the, the 4,000 is what you yield and we're gonna divide it by 4,050 which is the design YD the small d is for the design that the engineers or concrete uh, technicians and whoever else worked on the design of this this load or this batch or this type of material. Okay, so we take the 4,000 divided by 4,050 and it gives us 0 0.987. So now your relative yield is lower than the other number we had whatever what did i say it was 0 0.987 is that it let's see yeah so remember what it said uh, this number here is actually lower than one see one would have been what a zero was you know but this low this number is lower than one so remember we go back to what we read here a value that's that's uh less than 1.0 zero indicates that the batch is short of its design volume so let's do one that comes up to the exact design volume then huh what let's say we have this is the design 
and with us running our test we come up with 4050 pounds per cubic yard okay so when we take the calculator this time we go 4050 pounds divided by 4050 pounds we get one which would be over here 1.00 0. so the relative yield matches the design what we yield here is the same as the design okay so that's how you do that so we went over yield how you want to find the yield in cubic yards so you take the mass which which the total was 40,500 pounds divided by the density multiplied by 27 which was in parentheses so the density which was 150 times 27 <coughs> gave you 4,050 pounds and you took the 40,500 pounds and divided it by that and that gave you the 10 yards that was for the yield now the relative yield is when you take what you yield and you divide it by the yield design so for example we did it in the, the pounds right there's another way you can you can do this too let me show you I'm glad it went off just like that too <laughs> you can take the yardage you have let's say the batch you have uh let's say uh you come up with 1.01 .01 cubic yards per batch and then the batch is actually 1.1 same thing you take 1.01 .01 and divide it by one and it's going to give you 1.01 .01 okay because that's what your relative yield is 1.01 .01. and you multiply it by one cubic yard which is the design compared to what you yield which was 1.01 .01 cubic yards okay now let's say you want to do it by a 10 yard batch so a 10 yard batch of 1.01 .01, you just multiply times 10 yards that's going to give you 10.1 <coughs> right so Let's let's take that off of there. Let's see here. So, ten point one cubic yards times ten. I mean, divided by ten. So you get your calculator back out again. So ten point one cubic yards is what you yielded with your calculations. The design cubic yards which is just 10 you divide it by that and you get the same thing see there 1.01 .01. okay so that's the ratio of what you have compared to what the design is so something like that I mean it's not over, way over design so it would be you know like right on the money you know uh, let's see I can show you one where for example if you got like 9.9 .9 and then this here is 10 so you remember we talked about that note uh, 10 that we saw where okay 9.9 .9 divided by 10 see there then you would be under. Remember, if the ratio is one is under 1.00, then you might be short some concrete material. If, but see, now it's 0 0.99. Okay? But if the ratio was like we had it on the other one, 10.1 cubic yards, you divide it by the design 10 yards, then it comes up 1.01. .01, so the ratio is over 1.00. Now, just showing you on the calculator, if it was exactly 10 yards you come up with, <coughs> divided by the design 10 yards, it's going to come up to what it's supposed to be, 
1.00. So that's what would go over here on this side if it was 10 yards in your yield compared to the design yield. Okay, so I hope you understand that. If you don't, uh, leave me some questions. Try to make more videos as I have time. The day is a little slow out here. So I'm, I'm getting ready to go home. It's 3.30. I'm going to be leaving here shortly. So just want to show uh, anyone that have, don't understand you or, you know, hadn't had to take an ACI exam, you know, in the last year or two, and you're about to redo another one. Usually the ACI field concrete testing exams are every, the certification lasts for five years, so it's usually every five years or so. So this, just look at this as a refresher. And by no means am I just the, the one that knows everything. So if any of you guys uh, have any input on this, please leave me uh, a, a comment or, you know, if you got any questions about anything, leave a question and be sure and uh, share this with someone else. Thanks.